Hello Ben, thanks for the video that you eventually posted. Now we know why the world didn't end, because weeks last 10 days or something or whatever it was. But yeah, that's fine. Now I think you possibly understand the position that some of us are in when we respond to your videos, because I think somebody threw you a googly there. Um, possibly you didn't know about crab sticks and what he was going to do, and then you had to re-edit everything and start all over again. And um, yeah, this is what we do. I think, well, I don't re-edit, but I have to think, what am I going to say when you post a video that is going to make sense? So, this is what I'm going to say. The Doctor Who good bit was brilliant. <clears throat> okay, but apart from that, do good stuff. Well, doing good stuff is a bit difficult on this channel because I'm very hurried. I have to make a video one every day. Um, talking about YouTube meetups, I have never gone on a YouTube meetup um, because... Um, I don't know why I've never gone on a YouTube meetup, uh, but one thing I have done is gone on a meetup from another website that I'm in, which is the Half Bakery, and we call these Half Cons. Now, I think there's a maximum of about 27,000 people on the Half Bakery, uh, and I've been to one of the meetings, and unfortunately, being a 45-year-old man, that eventually involved um, me meeting a 14-year-old girl and nobody else turning up, which is a bit scary because, obviously... I'm a 41-year-old man, she was a 14-year-old girl, but they did take my daughter along as a chaperone, so that's okay. At least with this massive influx of people that you get um, with YouTube, you don't get that sort of embarrassing situation. But one thing you do get is Charlie McDonald surrounded by hundreds of people having to be bussed out or whatever. And I actually think the reason for that is because this is a very strange kind of medium, because it's a mass medium where everybody talks to each other, or a lot of people talk to each other, personally, face to face, and I think that that means that everybody feels much more than they do would with television, or much more even than they do with a book, that we are talking to each other directly, face to face, we see each other on this medium, and uh, we imagine we're talking to each other, and the people that we see, we think we know them, and in a sense we do know them, although, you know, obviously people project their own persona on there, so that's one thing that I wanted to say. I also wanted to say that I think that when you are a very popular YouTuber, it's very difficult for anyone to have a conversation with you, or you for probably for you to have a conversation with very many people via YouTube, because, for example, on the comments, they're zooming by at warp speed, and you're not actually going to be able to communicate with people very much. So maybe if you're like in the middle of popularity, you can have proper discussions with people and make real connections with people emotionally. But if you're at the top, in a way, you're quite isolated, because you've got so many people trying to talk to you and trying to get attention and so on. And that's not very healthy because it should be a conversation. I mean, it's not very good for them, is what I'm saying. I don't know, it's not very healthy. It's not very fair. OK, um, I'm following a script here, obviously. Now, what else do I have to say? Um, well, um, yes, if I were to go to a YouTube gathering and I am considering going to the one this year, um, I would be presented with a bit of a quandary because I have these two channels and on the other channel which is much more popular I have actual fans and if I went to a gathering the chances are much greater although I've not got a massive huge fan base that I would meet people who were fans of me on the other channel and that would be quite disturbing because of what I do on that channel so that would be weird um so I suppose anyway, I think the reason that it's all a bit peculiar is because we have the sense of intimacy, but we have intimacy with millions of people, which is a very positive thing. But I think the result of that is that you do get this sort of sense that everybody knows everybody else when really you don't know them. But in a way, it's quite a healthy thing anyway. But it does mean people get mobbed and so forth, I expect. And uh, at least you don't have the problem of... Uh, middle-aged blokes meeting 14-year-old girls off the internet, which is really not very nice. And um, But there's always geriatric 1927, so I'm not completely over the hill.